This is what happens when you tell a Jewish mother to make chicken soup. Look at this liquid gold. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a pencil sharpener comparison between the Taihu pencil sharpener and the Jarlink. I was contacted by Jarlink sometime last week and they asked if I would test out their product. And this is the Jarlink pencil sharpener and you guys know I swear by my Taihu as being the ultimate of pencil sharpeners. I thought they were going to be the same from the picture that I saw on Amazon, but they're actually very different. And so today I'm going to compare the two with their features. And so I'm going to start with the Taihu. This is my well beat up, greatly used Taihu. I'm starting to scratch off the lettering on it. I've had this thing for a few years now. It's looking like it's getting older. And I want to say this has been an extremely reliable pencil sharpener. When Drawling contacted me, I thought they were going to be the same, but they're not. Okay, so some of the features on the Taihu. First of all, it's uh, rechargeable. And it comes with a rechargeable battery that's built into the system. You don't have to put in anything. Um, it comes with a screw. This is the first time that the back has actually been off. So you really never have to fuss with this. It comes on and it just stays there. I've never had to open up the cabin, you know, the little compartment back there before. This charges in about four hours. And if you use an adapter for like the wall, now forgive me, I don't know power or electric or anything like that. I think it's just an adapter that looks like this. It does not come with this. It'll charge your battery in two hours. The cord for charging is like a cell phone. It's got two USBs on the end. Usually I just plug it into my computer when it needs a charge. And I'm gonna tell you that I've only had, I've only had the need to charge this about five or six times. It's supposed to last for 300 pencil sharpens. I can't imagine that it was 300, it had to be way over that. And I mean way over that on one charge. So that exceeded any sort of expectations that I think even the manufacturer had. It's very easy to empty. It screws on and screws off extremely quickly and you don't have to fuss with it. It goes right back on and the hole for it is in the center. The problems I've had with this, and let's talk about this, because the blade, which is a helica blade, helica, helica, um, it's the style of blade, is situated right in the middle. I get a lot of shavings in it. And sometimes I have to like pound on it to get it clear. Also, we all get them. Occasionally I have a broken tip that goes into the machine and it's kind of difficult to get it out. I've actually um, bent it a couple times and had to bend it back trying to get a broken tip out of it. This has really taken a beating because I'll hit and smack and shake and it's never done anything wrong. The only time I ever know that it needs battery charging is sometimes it will slow down the grind right before it needs to be recharged. It's very powerful. I have sample pencils here to sharpen. Put it in and you can hear you can hear the power and I get a very nice tip. I think it's called torque. The way it spins is very strong. The motor that's inside of here. One of the cons on this is it only comes in black and white and they get grimy. Um, this always looks like hell because it's black plastic. I would imagine the white would look just as bad. I know black shows everything. And that's more of a bigger detail, you know, a bigger problem for me because it's on camera all the time. You guys have been looking at this thing for two years and really it's seen its better day. I got excited when Jarling wrote to me and said that they wanted me to try out that pencil sharpener because I broke four tips in this in a row and I knew that there was, you know, it, it was a problem with the machine. I think the blade needs to be sharpened. I mean, I've I've used and abused this and it's been a few years and I think that like any pencil sharpener that you can get out there, I just need a new blade on the inside. I don't know if they sell replacement um, insides for this. 
I saw on another one that it was like seven dollars to change it. Um, if I'm going to spend seven dollars, I might as well buy another pencil sharpener. So I'm not going to reinvest into this when this thing completely dies. It's really been a workhorse and it takes six millimeter and eight millimeter pencils. So now I got sent the draw link. Capacity size, it's a little bit smaller. It looks like this. I don't know what the real capacity is on the inside because this one goes down. So it makes the jar look, uh, maybe looks a little false because you're looking at this, but it really only sharpens like the capacity is up here and, and up. So I don't know what the actual capacity is. This seems to be a little bit more realistic that the pencil sharpens, sharpens goes all the way up to here. I would empty it when it's halfway filled, which believe me, I'm, this is a do as I say, not as I do situation. This thing, I've packed it and it's, and it still worked. <laughs> so you're supposed to sh empty your, the shavings a lot more than I've done in the past. It's not situated in the middle. It's situated towards the side. So you could see on here, the whole front is all where the shavings expel outward. And then, of course, you can get some behind there, but it much less behind. I have no idea if that makes a difference, but that's just the way it is. Now, how does it perform? This is not a rechargeable uh, system. I put in four AA batteries. They just go back here, slipped in nice and easy in there, and then just shuts down. The pencil, you can see it's not as strong. It also has a stop. This one has a stop also when your point gets to as big as it's going to get. Now here's where the jar link is a little bit better. It's like a needle and it's very, very noticeable when it comes to the tips on what you get. This is the extent of, this one is the extent that it'll go that sharp. This is the jaw link. I think this one makes a far more superior tip. It's just my opinion. I like to work with a very sharp tip. Remember when you first get a pencil that's been sharpened, you do not go down. Every single pencil, every single brand can break with a very sharp tip if you use it at this angle. When you first sharpen, you always go at a 90 degree. And it makes a very fine tip. I don't know if it's even showing up in the pencil, but you can get really fine and you can do very detailed work. Okay. On here, it's like a normal pencil point. It's a little thicker and you're not going to get as defined. I mean, I don't know how the camera picking up, but this is much more detailed. So in, when it comes to pencil points, the draw link is superior. I'm not saying that this is not a good point. I've been using this and you've been watching me for the last two years create art. And this has been my only uh, pencil sharpener except for my hand one, Kum. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it now, I'll use this. And when I want to get a tip like this, I have to use my Kum. So I guess it does make... A difference when you put it in on the number two on the comb it will on number one I get no it's definitely number two you can get a sharper tip and it's still these two are <laughs> there's no comparison to the tip that you can get from the draw link so to use this one without the batteries, when say you don't want to use the batteries, it does come with a pretty long cord. Like I could sit at my desk now and power this to 
my computer, it's the USB, but there's no charging this. If you don't have your batteries in there, you can't take it off and use it. Where this, you can just use it anywhere. But they send you the adapter with the draw link and it goes in here. So now I can just plug it into the wall, which is kind of closer than my actual computer to use the USB. I don't have USB ports close to my desk. They're on the other side of the room. So this is extremely handy. You don't even have to use your battery power. For this, for the Taihu, it's heavier and it's it's larger. Like the, the machine capacity, I think it has a much stronger motor than this one, which is weird because this one works. Gives you a little bit of tip. This is a little bit clunky to put in a carry bag if you if you're like the type of person like me that you don't feel like sitting in a doctor's office for an hour waiting and you want to just color on your lap this is kind of clunky to be using or you want to go to a park and color this is definitely a little bit more clunky this would fit in a purse much easier and it's also slightly lighter weight not much but slightly that's a pro for the draw link. Which one would I recommend? Well, I love them both. I'm going to be honest. It's like choosing your firstborn versus your secondborn. You love them both. You know, which one has a better personality? Ugh, I can't even like think. I like the outcome. Okay. If we're going to have to say this, I like the point better on the jaw link than I do on the Tahoe. When I didn't see the difference, like I, I didn't miss what I didn't have when I was using the Taihu because it was perfect. And this is my workhorse and this has been my pencil sharpener for years with now that I have the jaw link and I'm going to have to say this, uh, I really, really like this. I like the point on this pencil a lot and I wonder how it works with the star joy pencils because these are a little bit thicker these have a thicker barrel let's see what what it does okay oh wow look at that look at that tip oh my god Um, <laughs> I'm going to have to say it, and it breaks my heart, but I think I'm in love with Jarling. Thank you for sending it to me. Taihu, you are still my love. I love you greatly. You are fantastic, but I'm going to have to retire my Taihu to my daughter's room. This is going to be, I'm not going to be able to live without that point. I'm not. This is, you don't miss what you don't have. But when you have it, then you miss it. I'm kind of surprised. I wasn't going to do a comparison video, but I guess I'm going to be doing a comparison video. My heart. I'm just going to have to say, Jarlink. Okay. There is one other con on the Jarlink. It is not as easy to take the shavings out. It's a little harder because you have to line it up and it did take me about five minutes to figure out how to do it. And I'm not used to doing it yet. So bear in mind, I will learn. You have to line it up so that it's perfect. Okay, no, how does one do this? Oh, there it goes. Okay, I will learn that it will be just as fast. It was, it's a me thing, not a it thing. Just, you need a little bit of a learning curve because it does have to line up. So where the Tahu, you just plop it on and spin and it, 
doesn't this but it, it's still fine it's it's a me thing not a drawing thing is it complete oh it's not completely on there it goes that's it learning curve over i could do it so that's not a con in any way now there is one difference that i have to bring out and i'm this is the truth Taihu is a little bit more expensive. It's stronger. It's a little larger capacity, but it's also more expensive. This uh, is only $15. I'm a cheapskate. I look for the best price for products that work and this kind of one in that department because that's one quarter of the price lower than the Taihu. I never thought I was going to say this, ever. I loved my Taihu. I feel like I'm having a pencil sharpener affair and cheating on my Taihu. But that's life. And one other feature on this pencil sharpener that I have to say is beats out Taihu. It has an automatic lead ejector. So when you break the pencil point, and we all do it, in the pencil sharpener, it expels it. That's... My biggest problem with the Taihu is getting those pencil points out of this machine. You don't have to do that with this. It does, it's an automatic expulsion. So this is the end of my review. I want to thank again the Jarling Company for sending this beautiful sharpener to me. All links will be in the description as usual. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye-bye.